here is Seth from macOS 10 screencast.com. In this very, very short uh, tutorial, I'd like to show you how you can um, make an installation of multi markdown, which is always up to date. And I figured I'd have to do that because I had some problems with my multi markdown uh, installation. And therefore, I'd like to show you how to keep up to date with multi markdown. First of all, go to the website. And here's a special link from the fletcher.github.com website. You can download either the zip file or the tar file, which will then um, yeah, be saved to your uh, disk. Uh, GitHub will generate this zip file for you. Uh, just simply go to your downloads folder. Let me move out of my way our terminal. Then double click the zip file. And here in that folder, we see that this is the installation of multi markdown. I remove now the beginning and the end of that file name or the folder name because we don't need it for our installation. Then I go into my home folder under library library, sorry, and application support. I'd like to put my newly created multi markdown file. And from now on, multi markdown will be available for all uh, applications installed on your computer. You can also put your multi markdown file in your root library under application support if you want to allow every user on the, your computer to have access to your multi markdown installation. Um, this is a pretty good way of installing uh, multi markdown, also, although I would recommend another uh, step. First of all, go to the GitHub site and make sure you have Git installed. You can do this by uh, just installing Xcode. From the website then, copy this link uh, to the clipboard and then paste that line in the terminal, which I'm showing you right now. First of all, go into uh, li the library again and then again into application support. Then paste in your Git clone uh, um, command uh, Git now will con connect to the server of GitHub and download the most current installation of multi markdown. You can see now that we have that folder again created in our application uh, in our application support folder. And when we uh, list the contents of that folder, you see that we have a hidden folder called .git. And when I'm seeding into that folder, you can see here all the changes that were made to the installation or to the code of multi markdown are now kept in that folder. And this allows us to make it even easier to update to the most current version of multi mark by just going to the terminal, CDing into the multi markdown uh, folder in our application support folder. And here we want just to write very easily uh, the command for git in order to fetch the most current version, which is git pull. Then you execute the command with return. Now you see we are already up to date um, because I have um, the most current installation on my computer. Whenever something happens on the GitHub website to multi markdown, you just have to go into your terminal, execute git pull in that directory and you have the most current version installed. So I hope you find that very helpful or a bit helpful. Here are some links you might want to have a look at if you want to install Git from scratch or, well, just install Git. Just You can simply download the Xcode from Apple's web servers. Uh, you can apply for a free Ap Apple developer account if you want. Um, if you just want to install Git, go to the Git website. Again, I hope you find this very helpful. So see you next time. Bye. Uh -huh.